Hello, this is Candy, owner and professional organizer for Order Your Steps LLC. I'd like to welcome you to our 2021 Moving Forward by Faith interview series. During this series, we hope to present to you various topics from various people that will encourage, inspire, and motivate you. It has always been my goal to not only organize people's stuff, but to hopefully help them find a little bit more order in their lives. The series will begin with interviews with three amazing young women who will share with us just a tidbit of their life's journey thus far. We welcome your comments and feedback because everyone has a story. I invite you to sit back, relax, get you a cup of coffee, maybe a cup of tea, as I share with you a little snippet of what's in store. Remember, your steps are always ordered and continue to move forward by faith. All right, so my name is Maisha Spade, as my mother mentioned already, and I am currently the resident librarian at Towson University. So with that position, I get to do a little bit of everything in the world of librarianship uh, as far as what I hope to do. Um, who knows at this point, but my contract is a three-year term, so we're approaching the end of year two. Okay. All right, fantastic. So in 2012, when you graduate, when did you graduate college? 2014. Okay, so in 2014, you graduated magna cum laude from Winston-Salem State University. So tell us what were your thoughts on your graduation day? Oh my gosh, I cry graduation day. I'm so serious. So, uh, College was tough because I think I was away from home and it was, I was on the honors program. So it was very educationally rigorous. I think that's the word I'm looking for. So by the time I got to graduation and I had the diploma in, in hand, I was like, <sighs> tears, 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 tears. And then one of my friends was next to me and we had a little hug session because I was like, it was such a relief to be done. And then um, after that, I needed a break. So <laughs> I definitely took some time off afterwards. Elena is the owner and graphic designer for Ink Design. And she started her business at 23. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Elena. Uh, this is such a loaded question. Um, well, me, myself, I uh, just turned 32. Uh, I like to eat. I like to <laughs> bake. I like to draw. I'm a graphic designer and an artist. I understand, though, that there was a specific turning point, possibly, where you decided to actually start your own business. Was that something that you always knew that you were going to do? Or what really transpired that kind of said, OK, it's time? I can't say that I already I always knew I was going to start my own business. I, I just knew I was going to be an artist of some kind, whether it be graphic design or um, well, I remember distinctly in middle school, we had a kind of a hippy dippy teacher, if you wanted to call it that. And so she had us kind of close our eyes and kind of imagine what we'd want, what, what, what would we be in 10 years? And I imagined myself as an artist. And so I kind of always knew, as you said, I always knew that I wanted to be an artist. And so I kind of switched to graphic design because I loved magazines. I loved looking at the pretty pictures and like how the layout of the magazine was. So I was like, oh, okay, graphic design is it. Um, but then I switched to advertising for <laughs> for, uh, for reasons. Oh. 
So, so your topic for today is 30 something is or was not what I expected. So that is us, true. <laughs> <laughs> but tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, my name is Amber Brown. I currently am an IT system engineer at District Photo in Bellsville, Maryland. I've been with District Photo since I graduated high school. Um, in two, two, well, I graduated in 2006. So I've been with District Photo since 2008. So two years after that. Um, and I've been rolling with them <laughs> Going on 13 years now. <laughs> uh, literally rolling, you're right. Okay. Um, and I'm currently married to Elder Timothy Brown. Um, and we live in Baltimore, <laughs> um, which is far away from all of our friends and family, but it's fine. And, um, and that's about it about me. Uh, that's the basics. Okay. Um, Tim, married to Tim, working at District Photo, and a member of God Glorified Church of God in Christ, my home base. In your bio, which I hope my audience at some point will take the time to learn a little bit more about you, and I'm looking it up so that I won't say it wrong. Um, you say you can't get mad at expected behavior. And it is a model that you've retained like all your life. What, mm -hmm. what does that say to you or, or how do you translate that to other people? You know, um, Tim, um, he's so funny because he actually it, um, admires that statement about me. I don't have many expectations of people. Um, and because of that, they don't, like I, I tell my cousin this one time, I said, I don't have a high expectation for folks. All I expect for people to do is grow. That means evolve, change, do something. So if my expectation of you is to always that you grow, that you change or whatever, whether it be negative or positive, I can't get mad at you if you, you know, started yelling at me <laughs> nowhere or something. Okay. I can't get upset with that because I don't have any expectations for you. It's, it's the best way to sum that up is accepting people for where they currently are. 